So today we have a 2011 Volkswagen Golf. It's got roughly 64,000 miles on it and it's the 1.6 TDI engine, which is the diesel. So today we're doing a service on this Volkswagen Golf and as part of the service, we're going to be doing an oil and filter change. Um, I always like to just pull the dipstick out a little bit take the oil filler cap off, just makes uh, draining it out from underneath that much smoother, lets the air back into the engine. Take this cover off, which just pulls off. It's only um, rubber sockets. As you can see, there's a few ball and socket connections there, so that just pulls off. And the oil filter on this particular engine is a little bit buried, but it's just there, that plastic cap with the nut shape on the top. So this oil filter, yeah, it looks a bit buried and a bit of a pain to get to. It is a little bit fiddly, but not too bad. I'm gonna start by undoing this Torx 30 bolt up here. And you can generally just pop this out of the way for the time being. That's it. And these do just about wriggle out of here. A little bit messy. Now I think, is that a th right? That is a 32 millimetre. Grab a bit of blue roll. Gonna lose some oil in here somewhere. <clears throat> right, okay. I only come seem to come out one way. Ah, that's it. dripping down there. That's it. There we go, one oil filter. So we'll um, take that over to the vise and get that out and change the oil seal on it. Right, so I'm gonna start by taking this oil filter off. Just give it a bit of a pull and a bit of a twist and yeah, there you go. Let's come off. I'll go and stand this on the drainer. And you can see here, We've got the new oil filter, and in the kit comes uh, three seals, which we will be changing as well. Right, so I'm just going to use a small flat-bladed screwdriver just to hook this seal out of here. Take your new one and put that back in the same groove. These two can sometimes be a little bit more fiddly to get out. That's it. They're different sizes, so it's quite self-explanatory which one goes where.
So yeah, back into the grooves. Um, I'm gonna just tip that out because it's got a bit of oil in there. That's a good tip actually. Make sure you tipple with that out before you push the new field through in because I've done it before myself. You push it down, it locates and the oil comes out everywhere, hits you in the face normally. should do. I only use the vice, it just makes things a little bit easier. Not having somebody hold the housing for you. Put that round just in case there is a bit more oil. Now this filters, yeah, it is different each end, so obviously the bigger end, top. Should have read that before I tried it first time round. There you go. It won't fit the other way, as I've uh, demonstrated, but there we go, that's ready to go back in the car now. Right, so we've got to try and remember how to get this oil filter back in. Same way it came out. it just takes a bit of wriggling around start it by hand so price wise these filters um, you should be able to pick one up at your local parts outlet auto center or online um, and pretty much all of those places will ask for you the registration of the car um, once they've got the registration they can look up the particular engine that you've got fitted in your car and um, advise what filter you need and what oil you need. Um, filter wise you probably, well you shouldn't really pay any more than roughly £10 at this time anyway and oil wise 5 litres round about £50-ish. Um, so I've just tightened this up. It does say on there 25 Newton meters. If you've got a torque wrench, that's, um, that's great, you can use that. Otherwise, just you've got to be sensible, just nip it, don't go too mad, because it is only plastic. Um, next, I shall have a little wipe round down there, so we can get most of that oil off drips everywhere. and refit this uh, bracket. I'll try not to drop that bolt. That's better. There we go. So that's the oil filter done. So we're now going to just lower the bonnet. I'll move this over there and take it up in the air so we can uh, access the sump plug to drain the oil off. Right, so like most cars on the roads nowadays, it's got a plastic belly pan under shield. Um, most of the screws holding this on are Torx 20 which I've got in the gun ready, but there are a couple, what well, looks like three at the back, which are Torx 30. So I'll have to change the bit midway through.
Now the under tray's off. Uh, you can see we've just got some sound deadening in here around the bottom of the engine. Bit of protection for the alloy sump. But you can see there, that's the uh, sump plug. Um, which is a 19 millimeter. I prefer to use a single hex socket where possible, rather than a, a multi-hex spanner. Um, nothing wrong with using a multi-hex spanner, but um, as you can see, with this, you've got a lot less chance of slipping and rounding something off. So it's just personal preference, really. As I say, a spanner's perfectly all right. But while there's plenty of space there, that's uh, what I prefer one anyway. Just need to crack that loose. That's it. <clears throat> Pick up the drain tray. Uh, the engine is warm. So it's not just gonna trickle out, it should come out at a fair speed. Oh, that's still quite tight actually. Just make sure you have your drainer ready. You don't really wanna be wearing this. And the hotter the engine, the faster that's gonna come out. Something there. Sometimes when you're draining oil, it'll flow out like that for a while and then it'll just suddenly start dripping straight down. So there you go. Just be ready to catch that. And then it'll get to a point where it stops dripping and it'll just, um, that's it, keep flowing again. And that's a pretty safe time to put the drainer down. <laughs> And keep an eye on it. You see it's going to keep moving as the flow gets less and less. But we'll leave that now for a five minutes just to drain down. Okay, so this has been uh, draining now for five, six minutes or so. Um, it's just down to a steady drip now, which would probably go on for hours and hours like that if you left it. So we're gonna call it a day there. Uh, the sump plug, as you can see, has got a washer on it. That, it. It doesn't come off on this particular sump plug, but it's just a good idea to give it a wipe over, make sure it's not split or squashed. Um, generally, they're fine, and that should make a good seal again. So we're gonna stick that back in now. To nip this up, you don't need to go too mad. It is only an alloy sump. That'll do. Okay, so I'm not going to refit the under tray yet. We'll drop it down next and pop some oil in it and uh, get it up to level. Right, so with the dipstick still out, I'll attempt to put some oil in. It's handy to have a funnel, that one's just made out of a plastic bottle. So when I picked this oil up from uh, my local auto centre, uh, they suggested that the engine holds 4.3 litres I'm just going to put um, just under four litres in to start with and uh, 
run it up and check it on the dipstick and see how we go with that. I always prefer to put a little bit less in because that isn't always quite right, the amount they suggest. And it's a lot easier just to top up in dribs and drabs rather than have to get back underneath and drain a bit out. Which is actually why I haven't put the under tray on yet because sometimes that does happen. I think I'll uh, try that first. That's about 3.8, 3.9 litres. Right, so I'll uh, start that up and just let it tick over for a, a few seconds. So you don't need to rev it. That's uh, not really a good idea to rev an engine that's been drained of oil and then refilled. So I'm just going to fire it up, make sure the oil pressure light goes out. I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, so that's been run up. The oil's now circulated and filled the filter. Uh, we'll let that stand for three or four minutes just to settle and then check the oil and uh, see what level we're at. So this has stood for three or four minutes now. And you can see on the dipstick that groove there is your minimum. This one up here is the maximum. I'm hoping it's somewhere in between, nearer the max. We want to top it up as close as you can get to the maximum really. Um, but remember that overfilling can cause just as much damage as underfilling. So that's why I tend to uh, put less than the recommended amount in first. As you can see, that's probably about halfway between the minimum and maximum. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just top it up in dribs and drabs, leaving it for three or four minutes in between each time and checking with a dipstick until you're happy with the level. So when you pick up your oil from your uh, parts supplier, once you've given them your registration number, they'll be able to look up your engine and recommend the type and grade of oil that you need. Um, for your particular engine, there are quite a number of different grades on the market, so it's always best to um, give them their, give them your registration and let them uh, look it up for you, rather than just going pot luck. Okay, so we'll leave that now for a few minutes. Don't have to run it again because the oil's already circulated and in the filter and everywhere. Leave it for a few minutes, check it again and just keep repeating that process until you're happy with the level. Right, that's stood for another three or four minutes. I've topped up a couple of times and checked. Yeah, hopefully we're just below the maximum now, which yes, as you can see, it's about a millimetre just below the maximum. That's a good place to be longer that stands, there will be a little bit of oil still draining down and that'll bring it up to the maximum. But that's pretty much spot on there. So we're all done up the top here. Just get that back on and put the uh, plastic cover on the top. pushes back down onto those ball and socket joints. So I'll drop the uh, bonnet down, take it back up in the air and get that under tray bolted back up.
So that brings the job to an end. All I'm going to do next is uh, drop it down, run it around the block, and uh, make sure there's no leaks, really. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, the video's been of uh, some help for you. And if it has, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It will help our channel out no end. Cheers.